So it occurred to me that I never did a video of the delicate cycle on my 1996 Maytag Dependable Care Plus. Well, we're going to do a delicate cycle. I've also never done a video of a small water level, I don't think. Um, wait, what? No, I have, I think. Anyways, um, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to be washing this blanket that my parents, uh, got me. Um, food. Um, the issue is, it seems like every time I wash it, it kicks the washer off balance. So this should be an interesting video. I've already got detergent and softener measured out. We're, be we're just using store brand fabric softener and budget detergent because, you know, I'm not the type of person to spend $17 on a thing of Tide. Um, and this stuff works fine. So yeah, got that measured out. We're going to go ahead and load the stuff. So our settings for this cycle are going to be cold, extra large, and we're going to do... We'll put it right there so it's just under 8. So we'll load the detergent in. Oh, lucky. It fell like... Oh, I hope I filmed that. And then the fabric softener. Not using very much, because this is just one item. And it's really watered down. Oh, well. Still fabric softener. Alright, now to load this in. There we go. Um, I'm thinking. You know what? Thinking about it now, because this always kicks the washer off balance, I'm actually going to dump that, and I'm not going to add fabric softener until it's actually doing the rinse, because otherwise it won't dispense properly. i got to grab the, you know, the watching enabler and put it in. Whoops. And I'm actually going to advance the timer one click and just do closer to five, because again, this really doesn't need that much time in here. Um... But yeah, this is just a blanket. It does say you have to wash delicate, though. Um, this is going to be interesting, because I don't think... In the past washer videos, you have never seen low-speed agitation on here. Or agulation, as some might call it. So this is going to be interesting. Um, the interesting thing about this washer... Some washers do low-speed agulation and a low-speed spin when you're on the delicate cycle. This washer only has one spin speed, and it's fast. So regardless of what cycle out of the four you choose, you're always going to get the same spin speed. It's just the agulation that changes. So we are filling up with cold water, per the recommendations of the manufacturer of this blanket. Um... Again, every single time I wash this, I wash this probably once a month, every time I wash this, it manages to kick it off balance. Um, I'm just looking at something. Um, yeah, I, this is just a throw blanket on my bed, so I don't wash it off. I wash it like once a month just to keep it, um, keep it clean. I just noticed that there's a dry spot of detergent on my washer. So I'm going to try and wipe that off. There we go. Sorry about that. That was a little sloppy presentation. Um, now, um, unfortunately, um, we're going to be moving pretty soon, hopefully in the summer. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to convince my parents to take the washer and dryer with. Because obviously I think that um, our new house will come with one. Hopefully it's a good one. If not, we'll have to just use it until it craps out, because we all know it will. And hopefully if it craps out, I will convince them to buy a Speed Queen set. Um, yeah, I do like this washer. Um, I wish that we could move it, but my mom... Regardless, my mom doesn't like our appliances enough to 
move them. The only appliance I would move would be our microwave, our countertop microwave, because we bought it. All the appliances otherwise, these, the stove, the fridge, and the range hood all came with the house. The only appliances we put in were the microwave and the dishwasher we installed back in 2015. Ken Moore. That's another thing about this blanket. Oh, it's about to start. It never seems to get down into the water, so this will be interesting to see. Um, but it is just about to begin here. Right about now. You see, it's almost filled. And you're going to hear the wonderful woo-woos that this machine has to offer. As you can see, that is low-speed agulation. I'm going to see if I can use something to push down on this to get it down actually into the wash. But there, you kind of have it, is low low speed agulation at its finest. Um, again, I don't wash this very often because I just don't. I don't need to. But when I do, it always kicks the washer off balance. So we'll see how well we do. This is five minutes again. Um, just a little over, so maybe six minute agulation time. As you can see, even how thick this blanket is, it does turn it over, even with the single vein agitator. Straight vein, I'm sorry. Um, you can see that it is doing a low speed. I'm going to actually be quiet and just let you listen. That's all the quiet you get. Um, maybe in the future, before we move out, I'll make a video of this. Like, I'll put the camera on a tripod and just do a silent wash video. Um, but yeah, it's washing. As you can see, even for a really cheap detergent, this does suds up. Um, and it works well. Um, you really can't complain. People are like, people will be like, Oh, but Tide and, and Tide Pods, you just have to use them. Well, this right here proves that that's BS. You do not need Tide Pods to get suds. I've used Tide Pods maybe once, and I hate them, honestly. Um, but yeah. Um, and of, of course, store brand fabric softener. This is the Mountain Fresh scent knockoff of Downy, of course, but whatever. It smells better than Downy. I have to say, though, I am a fan of April Fresh, that scent that Downy uses, the pink cap ones. Those are smell nice. My grandma uses them. My grandma's used Tide pretty much ever since I can remember. Not the grandma with the direct drive, but the other one. Um, she's used Tide and Downy as long as I can remember. She buys them at Costco, though, so she gets the big, like, pump ones like this. Um... Used to use bounce sheets too before her old dryer crapped out. Her new one won't let her. It's an LG. It's one of those LG top loaders that has the controls right here. Um, I hate it. it. Takes 57 minutes to wash a normal effing load. Um, and her new dryer won't let her use dryer sheets. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's a gas dryer. Although I don't think that's why. I'm jealous. Obviously, we have an electric dryer, our old Maytag dryer, but I wish we had a gas dryer and a gas stove. We have an electric stove, um, although we do have a gas line um, behind the stove, except our stove came with the house. If we were going to be staying for another, like, ten years, I would, um, I'd sell our stove and get a gas stove, even though our stove is somewhat vintage. It's a Maytag Performa, I think is the name. Um, it's from probably like 2005, 2006. It's the one, no, it's older than that, maybe mid-2000s, but it's um, a smooth top um, with the, the, the Scott Siren cooktop. I don't know how you say that. Maybe Scott Sharan, I don't know, but it's got that cooktop on it. Yeah, it's a smooth top. It's nice. 
I do prefer coil tops, though, over smooth tops. Just because, um, with a smooth top, it seems like the pan slides around. Oh, and that's it. That's all the agulation you get. Yeah, I prefer coil tops. Here's where the fun is going to start. This thing is going to go crazy, pretty much, and they're just draining. Maybe it won't do it this time, I don't know. But I can bet you it's going to go crazy. Um, if you're wondering why that straw is there, it's because otherwise this drain leaks out onto the floor under there. But yeah, that's draining. Um, the agulation. Um, and I can already tell it looks like it's going to throw it off balance once it tries to spin. But there it is. Um, yeah, every time, that without fail, it goes off balance. Every time. No matter what you, what, what you do. Always. But we'll see. Um, uh-oh, here we go. Yeah, I've never seen the washer shake this violently, except when it's washing this, so we'll have to see how this works. I might have to redistribute it a little bit. Um, it's already shaking a little bit. And it's a, it's a thick, it's a fleece blanket, or it's not thick, it's like the, it's kind of like a fleecy material. Oh, notice this, see this? See how much it's shaking? It's still not going off balance. That's of these modern washers, and I'm going to have to send you can hear the washer literally squeaking, but it's still not going off balance. It's gonna though, don't worry. Look at this. This washer's taking abuse right now. I wouldn't be surprised if it does go off balance though. It's not going nowhere near the speed it should be. This is nowhere near how fast it can go. Look at this! It does this every time I wash this blanket. I'm only going to stop it if it goes off balance. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it like this. I can hear it. You can hear it bumping the switch. It just, it wants to so bad, but it can't. Oh, it's going to do it, I bet. There's the switch. It's bumping it. If it bumps any more, it's going to trip it. Nope. It's doing the spray rinse. Wow. You can see it's like messing with the spout. Oh, here it goes. I'm honestly, genuinely surprised it's not going off balance here. Wow. That's the switch right there. You can hear it hitting the switch. There it went. It just went off balance. Oh no, it didn't. Well, holy cow. That is the first time I have ever washed this blanket. It has not gone off balance. All right, now we're going to add the fabric softener. You already saw what kind I'm using. We'll call that good. Since you're not technically supposed to use fabric softener with this, but I like to use fabric softener with everything. Um, wow. I'm going to actually, I'll catch up to you when this is done filling. All right, um, we're just about done here, and it's going to start low-speed agulation again. I'll be quiet this time so you can hear it start. It's bubbling. Here it goes. Obviously, um, it's going to shift around and move the blanket a little bit more because it's already compact from being soaked. Um, but unlike Lexmark's 567, unlike his 2011 Inglis direct drive washer, you can actually get a full um, rinse if you set it to extra large. If you set it to medium, you get a small size rinse. That's water saving. Um, yeah, Lexmark's 567's 2011 Inglis Direct Drive, you set it to extra large, you still only get a couple holes down, 
and then when you rinse, it rinses with the small amount of water because if you think about it, the clothes are already smushed down and compacted from washing, so you don't need as much. Obviously, we are going for the opposite of high efficiency, hardly efficient, uh, low efficiency. That's what we want on this washer. So we have a full tub of water, bite me, full tub of rinse and wash water. Bite me, millennial. And that's all you get. The delicate cycle only does like a minute and a half of rinse. I don't think it's gonna go off balance, but I can I can try and move it to one side so it will. Cause I want I was hoping it would. I don't know if it would before, but I'll see if I can make it do it this time. I kind of moved it to one side so it'll go off balance. Cause otherwise I don't know if it would have, but here I think it's gonna. Cause there's a decent it's pretty smush to one side here, so it might. Um, this spin is actually pretty long. It does a decent spin time. That's something in my mouth. If it goes off balance this time, we'll have to readjust it. My hand's all wet. There it is. It's already starting to spin. There's all the fabric cloths in her emptying out. It's gurpling. Now, if this were a modern washer, this thing would be like, it'd be hitting the side and all kinds of other BS. This thing would have already gone off balance if this were modern. Um, which is always nice. And then it would take, you know, an hour rinsing and filling and rinsing and spinning to try and readjust it. It doesn't just trip it. Like on this, it's like, all right, off balance, come fix me. Modern ones try to do them at all. Sorry I keep making cuts and stuff, but I need to redo that so I remember to fuzz my words that I keep saying. Um, I, I'll try not to cuss anymore, though. Um... Again, I don't know if it would have gone off balance before, but it's probably gonna now. You can hear it rocking against the sides. I wish I could take the front panel off and show this from inside, but I'm not gonna. Okay, if this keeps going, I'm gonna have to stop it, because this is painful. Let me see something. There it went. Just went off balance. So now, I'm going to have to pretend like I opened the lid. There we go. Have to pretend like I opened the lid to readjust it. Let's see if it does it this time. Alright, I'll readjust it now. This thing is soaked. Let me see here. I'll wrap, kind of wrap it around the agitator so that it gets an even coat. Let's see. Let's see what it does now. Now it's going to spin at full speed. There it is. Look at all that water. Um, and there you go. I guess now it's, let's see if I can hold it. It is now spinning at its best speed it's going to be able to do. It's not going to focus on that. But you see it does attempt to do the full speed spin, even though it's not going to. But it is draining out a lot of water, which is good. Yes, I'm aware that's broken. Chain cam. Bottle cam. Washer cam. Dish soap cam. And no, I don't advertise for the store Meyer, even though it appears that like everything I have is Meyer. That's Meyer too. 
though. I don't I don't work for Meyer or anything. I just have a lot of their stuff. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you. It's not gonna pick it up because I have the steady shot. This does not move at all. It's not moving my camera at all. Even though you guys probably can't tell because I have because the steady shot, it is not moving the camera at all. I kind of wish sometimes there was an option to turn the steady shot off, which I don't think there is, because I think it'd be funny to see, because it'd be like, because my hands are shaky, so all you'd see is, it'd be all, no, I'm glad I have the steady shot, because now I can do this, oh, do this, and it doesn't do anything, and it's done, there is your delicate cycle, so the way we got to dry this now, A, oh god, I'm going to have to empty that, Empty your own freaking lint. Oh, this landed on my arm and it's all wet. I'm just gonna pop that in there. Do this with my dry hand. And yes, this lint trap does have a hole in it. It's been like that since we bought the house. Ugh. Hopefully you can see that. I can't see the screen. All right, that's pretty much it. It's not like there's gonna be a lot of lint in this anyways. Put that in, close it. And we got to do air only. A lot of washers, there's an air only temperature button or on the knob. You set it to air only. I know on the matching version of this washer, you'd set it to air only on the knob and then just use the time dry. Unfortunately, this washer is a fat or this dryer is a fabric matic, meaning it's a basic fabric matic and it only has three temperature selections. So if you want air only, you have to put it in the air only portion of the permanent press cycle. Set it to 20 and hit start. And that is the final cycle video on this washer. That's it.